Gentlemen, if you are ready to kick 2019's ass so hard it's ridiculous, give this video a thumbs up. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, don't get me wrong. 2018 wasn't like horrible, but it could definitely be better. And I plan on making 19 the best year yet for me and you. But in order for that to happen, there are some styles, some trends, some things that you're wearing that we definitely cannot bring to the ass kicking party of 19. Today I'm going over 10 popular trends that need to stop. All 10 of these trends came, hung out a little bit, but now it's time for them to go and sit down. Number one. The Hawaiian floral shirt. In my opinion, humble opinion, it's very hard to look studly in a floral shirt unless you're like just some super handsome dude. And then in that case, you can wear anything. Guys like us say just kind of make us look dorky number too much ankle. Massive ankle exposure. When you've got five fingers of ankle showing, this in my opinion is just a little bit too much. This in my opinion is the appropriate ankle exposure level. The third popular style trend that needs to stay Say it's ass in 18 is skin tight denim. I don't know who, where, or how this look became popular, but it did. Have you ever seen that commercial for like jeggings? They're like the jean leggings for women. It's like, oh, they're leggings. No, they're jeans. They're, they're denim leggings. And this is kind of what it looks like to me. In my opinion, this is the tightest your jeans should be. They're still slim. They're still tight, but they just have a little more extra room to move around. Number four is drop crotch joggers. Drop crotch pants just won't like die completely. Like it's on its way out, but in my opinion, it definitely needs to go. Now, the other alternative alternative is to wear a nice, simple, sexy pair of joggers. Or if you're looking for something a little more versatile, you could always go with something like this. This is the all day, every day pant by today's video sponsor, Public Rec. I've talked about these pants on multiple occasions before. These pants are as close to perfect in terms of athleisure wear as you can possibly get. The thing that I love about them, they're not too tight down around the ankle like a jogger, but they're also not like super wide and baggy. They're a tailored pant, but the material is crazy stretchy, right? They've got paneling down the side. They've got pockets in the back. They've got these really cool zip pockets that you can zip up, put your phone in so it doesn't fall out. The other cool thing about these pants is the sizing system. They come in a waist size along with an inseam. These are 30 30s as opposed to like just small, medium or large. So if you're a short guy like me or you're super tall, they've got a pair of pants that are going to fit you more like jeans. These pants are like a more stylish alternative to sweatpants and more versatile than joggers. And they're also not super tight. And that's the thing that I love about them. They're tailored without being like skin tight. If you guys want to check out these pants or this Henley, they sell hoodies. They've got a lot of incredible, comfortable, stylish clothes and options. There's a link down below to public Rec. There's also a discount code. The quality of Public Rec clothing is insane and the comfort is like mind blowing. The fabric doesn't lose its color. It doesn't get all like nasty and pilly. The pair that I'm wearing I've had for over two years and they still look super sexy. Guys, link below. Go check them out and while you're there, read the reviews, right? They've got like a thousand reviews on these pants, all like five stars. People freaking love these pants and so will you. But what I don't love and hopefully you don't love anymore either is the Ultra distressed denim. Trash, destroyed, horribly distressed denim is, in my opinion, something that needs to go. Now, personally, I can totally get down with a nice pair of distressed denim. A little bit of fading, maybe a whole two, possibly three, but when they look like super manufactured and just like distressing everywhere, I personally think it looks a little ridiculous, it looks lame, and in my opinion, it looks trashy. So there's tailored, there's fitted, and then there's number six. Crazy, in insanely tight everything. Zero chance that that is comfortable. There's also zero chance that it looks good in my opinion. There's a big difference between fitted and tailored and just looking like a freaking sausage. And right here for working out and looking super fine and sexy, but you gotta leave a little something to the imagination. And on the flip side, number seven leaves everything to the imagination. Big, giant, oversized sweatshirts. If your goal is to look super skinny, then wear a gigantic sweatshirt. If your goal is to look super short, wear a gigantic sweatshirt. If you wanna look sloppy and sorta of, meh, 
in my opinion, than wear a gigantic sweatshirt. In 2019, my hope, my goal, my prayers for you are to actually size down your sweatshirts and your outerwear. There's no reason to wear things that are so big and baggy. It makes you look tiny and small and little teeny petite when I know that you're a big freaking stud underneath that big giant thing. As we're talking about gigantic and unstudly, number eight is another trend I want to see die, which is the oversized cardigan. Oversized cardigans just look <laughs> Look bad. 2018 was the year of like big clothing apparently and this goes for number nine as well which is oversized parkas. Giant parkas are apparently a thing. I hope they're not a thing for much longer. Oversized parka is definitely going to be warm, but there are a lot of other warm options out there. If you get a heavy pea coat, it is definitely warm. You could also layer underneath it a lightweight puffer jacket or vest. Pea coats also look incredible with scarves, right? If you're looking for a little extra warm, scarves are just badass in my opinion. Look great. You can wear it with pea coats. You could also wear them with leather jackets or puffer coats. And last but certainly not least the 10th trend that I saw like a lot of that I'm just like what the hell is going on with the world and that is face tattoos. So when did everybody start getting stupid tattoos on their face? The risk of sounding even more uncool than I already am I don't think face tattoos are a real good idea. 2018 is almost in the books and I can't wait because I am ready to move on. <laughs> Start fresh and kick 19's ass like nobody's business who's with me.